Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You are welcome back to physics class this day, and uh, we want to be discussing dimension analysis. And um, at the end of the class, we are going to be able to uh, define dimension. We are also going to be able to write dimensions of some quantities. And finally, we are going to state the uses of dimension. Now, going into the discussion details. What is dimension analysis? Dimension uh, of a quantity, or that means the dimensions of a quantity are, are the basic quantities that make up the quantities. In another way, dimension can also be described as a way of representing a quantity in terms of its fundamentals. Fundamentals quantities are quantities that other depend that other quantities depend upon so a quantity known as derived quantity depends on fundamental quantities so when you now express a physical a, a basic quantity in terms of its fundamentals you are actually discussing dimensional analysis now how do you represent a dimension dimension can be represented using square brackets for example we have mass. Dimension of mass is m in the square bracket. Dimension of time is t in the square bracket. Dimension of uh, distance is l in the square bracket. Capital letters. All these dimensions are called a dimension of um, of of base quantity or fundamental quantities. All other quantities depend on these three dimensions. All right. Now let's look at more examples of dimension. Like um, we have area. Area is distance times distance, and that will be length times length, and that will be L square. So L square in close bracket is dimension of area. Dimension of velocity and dimension of speed are the same. Velocity and speed have the same dimension, and the formula is distance over time. Distance is L in dimension, time is capital T in dimension, and we write this one to be L T raised to the power minus 1 in square brackets. Now, moving forward, dimension of acceleration. If you want to write dimension, let me say it again, you have to know the formula of that quantity. It's very, very important to be versatile with areas of, um, I mean, with formula of a quantity before you can write each dimension. For acceleration, it is velocity over time, and the dimension of velocity is L T S power minus one. For time is capital T, and that will be L T S power minus one times T S power minus one using indices. And if you see minus one plus minus one, that will be minus two. We don't have to be L T S power minus two. The dimension for acceleration is L T S power minus two. Now, going further, we have for force. Force can be expressed as mass times acceleration. Dimension for mass is capital M times dimension for acceleration is L T power minus two, and finally to be uh, M L T is power minus two. I want to quickly, I need to quickly say something here. When you have mass, length, and time to be together in a dimension, the force that is conventionally written is M followed by L followed by T. Right, let's look at for pressure. Pressure is force over area. Dimension for force, don't forget, is mlt square minus 2 over L square. Area is L square. We have written these dimensions in the previous slides. That's why I'm just putting them straight away. So mlt square minus 2 over L square 2. And that will be mlt square minus 2 times L square minus 2 coming from indices. And uh, look at L is power 1 here. L is power minus 2. It will be 1 plus minus 2 to give you minus 1. So our final answer will be M, L is power minus 1. T is power minus 2. Okay. I'm looking at uh, more dimensions of uh, quantity like work done. Work done is the same thing as energy. They both have the same dimensions. And that will be cost to force times distance. For force, force is mass times acceleration. That is mass m times L to the power minus 2 acceleration times distance l. 
and you know l here is power one l is power one one plus one will give you two that will be m l square c this power minus two so these are dimensions of some quantity so you have these to attempt your own activity you write dimensions of the following quantities momentum volume density surface tension and power and for you to be able to write dimensions of these quantities you need to know what are their formula and uh going back we have been able to look different dimension as a way of representing quantities in terms of the fundamentals and we have seen how to write dimension of some quantities but we need to quickly know that dimension of quantities are based on three basic quantity mass capital m in brackets in square brackets distance capital l in square brackets and time capital t in square bracket with this three we can write other quantities all right and, um we have moving to the last part of the discussion which is to uh, uh state the uses of dimension we have two basic uses of dimension number one we use dimension analysis to check the correctness of an equation if you want to know if an equation is correct or not we use dimension uh, analysis for that and uh, number two, we use dimension to check the form of an equation. Maybe an equation is parabola, 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 circle, and so on. We use, uh, um, or you want to derive our equation from each. We use dimension analysis to do that. So my next video, inshallah, we are going to see how these two can, how dimension, how dimension analysis can be used to check the form of an equation and to check the correctness of an equation. Thank you so much for your audience as well. Look more to that.